United legend Paul Scholes was here as a sort of spectator uh, earlier in the season as well. He's number 11. Here we go. for Kings Lynn. They may not be winning races tonight much, but I'll tell you what, they're packing the minor placings and setting themselves up for a big effort on yeah. the home shale next Monday night kill. True, right they are, Nigel, but Max Frick has been in superb form tonight. He really has been brilliant. I'm gonna say Robert Lambert really, really ran it hard at him midway through the race, but then switched to the inside. There is one very fast line, high and wide, and when you get on that, you can really then dominate the race, but Max Frick, he has had a terrific night so far. Yep, Frick the winner with Lambert second, Riss was third, that was an important third place for Eric Riss, because Jay Etheridge was really pushing him hard. It's a three-all, and it's 35-31 after 11 heats to Bellevue. Yeah, Frick on the inside makes a super getaway. Robert Lambert just can't get there from gate number two. There's a real tussle for third place for the first couple of laps with Eric Riss under all sorts of pressure from the uh, the man that's been recalled to the aces, Jai Etheridge, again from the tapes. We see Max Frick make a smashing start. He dominates there. Eric Riss having to work very hard on the outside. He tried the inside and then had to revert to the outside to try and get the grip. Doesn't look like that Eric Riss has got a lot of speed tonight. He's having to work very hard indeed to make sure he hangs on for those third places because Jai Etheridge, in truth, probably had a little bit more speed, but the German really did show a lot of grit and determination and running wide there. He hung on to third place, but for Lambert and Frick, well, they put on a great high-speed demonstration there, that's for sure.